In this video tutorial, we are going to discuss uh, about symmetry of a square and the number of lines of symmetry possible for a square. So we have one square here, okay, and of course in a square all sides are equal. Now if I say that, if I say that this square is in symmetry, okay, the square is in symmetry, so what does that mean? It means that, let me take one example here. Okay. If this is one line L1, and if I say that this L1 is a line of symmetry, what does that mean? It means that if we place a mirror on this line, okay, this line is also called mirror line or axis of symmetry or line of symmetry. If I place a mirror on this line and if we place a mirror on this line and if we try to look this right portion, if this right portion, if we try to look into the mirror, then the mirror image that will be formed will be exactly similar to this one. Okay. And if you try to look this left portion into the mirror, then the image form will be exactly similar to this one. And these two portions that has been divided by uh, this line are equal. So these two halves are equal and they are mirror images of each other. Another way to look at this will be that if you try to fold this right portion and the left portion or any single portion around this on this mirror line, okay? Imagine that this is a folding line and you are trying to fold one of the sides and what happens then is this. It means what we have shown by these dotted lines is that if you try to fold this left portion on the right portion on this folding line that is a mirror line then this left portion will exactly overlap on this right portion that is it will exactly lie on the top of this right portion this vertex will lie here this vertex will lie here this line will overlap with this one this line will overlap with this one and this line will overlap with this one and that is what we have shown using these dotted okay, lines. So this is the line of symmetry. In the same way, in the same way, if I say that this is another line of symmetry, it means that if you try to fold this downside portion on this left, on this upward portion around this folding line, that is a mirror line, that is a line of symmetry, that is the axis of symmetry, then this downward portion will exactly overlap with this upward portion, okay? And that is what we have shown with the dotted lines, that is this vertex will overlap with this one, this vertex will come exactly on this position, this line will exactly overlap on this one, this one will overlap on this one, and this one will overlap on this one. So this is a way to, you know, tell that even this is the line of symmetry for uh, a square in this, I mean, in this figure. If I say that we have one more line of symmetry, that is this line of symmetry that is, you know, uh, that will pass from the opposite vertices, from this one and this one. So this line is passing from here. That is, it will trace all the way, you know, over the diagonal of this square. And if I say that even this is a line of symmetry, then what does that mean? That means that these two portions, that is this portion and this portion is a mirror images. And another way to look into this will be that if you try to fold this portion around this folding line, assuming that this is our folding line, and then if you fold it, then it will exactly overlap with this right portion. That is this vertex will come here. This line will overlap with this one and this line will overlap with this one. You fold it, exactly the mirror image. Because when, if you try to look this line into the mirror, then the image form will be this one. And that is what we have shown by the dotted lines. So the two way to look uh, the symmetry, uh, symmetric of, symmetry of any figure will be like this one. If I say that we have one more line of symmetry, that is around just opposite to what we seen, what we saw earlier. So this is L4 and 
if we try to fold this side on this portion then this vertex will exactly lie on here and this line will exactly overlap with this one and this line will exactly overlap with this one therefore we can say that this is one line of symmetry this is one line of symmetry this is one line of symmetry and this is one line of symmetry that is we have total number number of lines of symmetry as four two passing from the opposite edges and two from the opposite vertices that is they will you know pass over the diagonal okay so we have total four number of lines of symmetry for a square In the next video, we are going to have a similar discussion for rectangle.